This is the Erica Sin's Pico Mask Module. The fundamental concept behind the mask module is that white noise or a simple sample and hold module are not easily controllable. With the mask value, you can put limitations on how random the output is. The middle knob offsets the center of random voltages, so it could be weighed more towards CV1 or CV2 depending on its knob position. The mask is essentially the random voltage between input CV1 and CV2. The trigger input is for a sample and hold signal. Finally, the CV out carries the mask value to a CV input on any module of your choice. In this case, the CV out of the mask is being patched into the wave surfing CV input of the Erica Wavetable VCO. Here I'm patching the Erica Black LFO into CV1, which is represented by the blue waveform. And the black modulator is being patched into CV2, which is represented by the red waveform. Once I patch in the trigger source, we see the yellow waveform of the mask come to life. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using Pamela's workout to send a steady predictable signal to the trigger input of the Pico mask. The mask is set to a 50% middle position. Here I'm increasing the speed of the triggers coming from Pamela's workout. With the width knob fully counterclockwise, the mask signal resembles a conventional sine wave. As I increase the width to 50%, you see the sample and hold start to randomize in greater amplitude. With the width knob at 100%, the mask is fully covering the range between the waveforms of CV1 and CV2. The normal mode can be switched to inverted mode. If you invert the signal, the CV would be up against the edges of the mask. Normal mode on the second switch will take you from an equal probability range within the mask. Switching it to distributed mode will weight that probability to 75% around the center of the mask and 25% closer to the edges. The Pico Mask module can provide you with the tools you need to control sample and hold randomization to create self-generating patches. Have fun. <laughs>